Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. well. I didn't know him that well. Hey, did did you know that Yorick was a jester? And I put the nose on him because of that. It's, oh, hi. It's uh, Tim. Just, uh, you know, doing reciting a little Shakespeare because it's... <laughs> It's kind of classy guy I am. Hi, welcome to Pub Talks. Speaking of poor Yurik, there was a British fighter pilot got shot down over uh, Germany in World War II, and uh, he woke up in a um, prisoner of war camp in Germany, and the guard standing over him said, "Hey, had." Some bad news for you. And he says, What was that, mate? And he says, We had, you survived the crash, but we had to amputate your leg. He says, Ah, that is a bit of bad news, isn't it? I yeah, wonder if you do me a favor. I wonder if you take, do you still have the, the leg? Yes, I think we have it here someplace. Would you take that leg and wrap it up and send it to my mother in the, Brighton. That's a very odd request. We've never had that one before, but yes, I think that could be arranged. Give me the address. So he gives him the address, and uh, about a week later, uh, the guy's walking around uh, doing some raking around the prison yards, and all of a sudden, a dog, the, one of the guard dogs got loose, came up and bit off his hand, and it's, it's, he passed out. He just freaked out, passed out. And he woke up in the hospital bed again at the, uh, the prisoner of war site there and said, I, 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 see, I see my hand is missing. Yes, you, have, you seem to be having some bad luck. The dog bit your hand right off. He said, well, this, you know, these things happen. I wonder if you do me a favor, take that hand and send it to my uncle up in York. He says, ah. I suppose we did it before, we could do it again, so they sent his hand to his uncle in York. And the very next day, he was out in the yard, and the guard tower fell down, taking off his other arm at the elbow. So he woke up in the hospital bed, and his other arm was missing, of course, and uh, he says, uh, uh, God, I wonder if you do me a favor, I know this is, seems rather odd, but could you take my other arm and send it to my great uncle? My great uncle is 105 years old and he'd really appreciate a souvenir from the war. It's, and the, the guard says, no, I talked to the commandant and he says no more of that, no more shipping your body parts out, he thinks you're trying to escape. Okay, um, hey, I told you I was gonna show you some uh, art from a friend of mine. The artist I was gonna show you is Charlie Brown. Yep, not that Charlie Brown, but uh, so go to charliebrownart.com and I put together this little video of his recent uh, exhibition at the Hopkins Center for the Arts in Minnesota. So take a peek at this. Charlie's got some great graphite and uh, charcoal drawings.
Charlie's got some great art, and they're really impressive in person. They're three by four feet approximately. Uh, so if you go to charliebrownart.com, you can hook up with some of his original art or uh, buy prints and uh, stuff like just you, like you can with mine. So charliebrownart.com, check it out. Tell him Tim sent you. That's all we've got time for at the uh, Pub Talks today. And uh, so I want to say cheers, stay cool, and uh, here's ale in your eye. <laughs> here's ale. Never mind. Pub Talks has been brought to you by FunArtStudio.com Fun Art for Home and Business And by A Major Chub from the Grant Foundation